Hi, Larry Berman here, and here's what's on my radar. Well, we're in the last few minutes of trading here on Friday. You can see the S&P 500 is, is getting absolutely crushed today. At the moment, down about 2.5%. You can see the pattern over the last year here, um, and really in the last few months, it's a series of rolling highs. We very recently came up to the 200-day average, which you can see here actually just a couple of days ago and failed miserably as the hawkish Fed uh, really uh, clamped down on, on the markets here. So if we increase the lens here and have a little bit of a, uh, a look on the dailies, you know, we, we can see here that the market tried to rally uh, a couple of times during the day and just simply can't hold the bid. And even in the last hour of trading here, Market came off the lows, made a new high here, and then failed again. And as we speak here, with just minutes left in the trading day, you can see here nine minutes left uh, that we're making new lows on the day. Um, you know, I've got my orders in here, so I'm I'm waiting to to buy a couple of things. I, I've had a very very defensive position in the portfolios and so the stuff we like longer term on days like this when the markets get pasted um, are days we're interested in, in accumulating and building positions. Remember keep in mind this is a portfolio where I've got to be fully invested because that's my mandate. So the question is uh, I mean I have a little flexibility around some cash but the the message is here, when do you do the buying and when do you do the lightening up? And so into the strength earlier this week, we were lightening up a little bit into the carnage uh, we're looking to buy. So let's have a deeper look at that carnage by way of market breadth. And when we look at that, we see the Dow cl down close to a thousand points today, uh, you know, which which is quite, uh, quite something. When we look at market breadth, and so what we're going to bring up here is the internals, and that is advanced decline line, percentage of weekly lows versus highs, percentage above the MAs. All these things together make up, you know, a lot of the market breadth indicators. And today, you know, very bad day, you know, 90% kind of volume on the downside, 90% decliners. Um, it, it has the makings of a washout day, but when you look at some of these metrics were nowhere near, you know, washout status. One of the uh, pro eyes indicators we like to look at is the spread between the front month VIX and the fourth month VIX futures contract, which is what we're looking at here on the bottom. And so when this line goes above zero, we get inverted. And so statistically compared to the last couple sell offs, uh, and this obviously is covering a number of years, you can see back here during COVID, the extent that the front month contract and the, the risk premium now spiked above, you know, risk expectations, you know, three months from now. So you can see all the other sell-offs, you know, historically here lining up. And so statistically, you know, this needs to invert before we see that extremeness. Uh, we've got more to go here. So at a very minimum, I would think that the queues are going to test the key support around the 315 area uh, this coming week. If that doesn't hold, folks, look out below. As I'm looking at the market movers on the day, maybe we can bring this up here on the next screen and have a very quick look at it in terms of the equities that are, are making moves uh, on the day and what is, is up and down. Um, so you see... You know, Twitter's got that um, bit in it from Elon Musk here, but you know, the broad uh, fang type names, all of them deep, deep, deep in the red. Uh, you know, parallel decline today between the Qs and the S&P 500. There isn't a, a green sector out there, including the defensives. Again, has all the hallmarks of a capitulation day. But when we look under the hood, we're actually nowhere close. So, you know, market doesn't like what the Fed has to say. They're starting to price in 50, 50, 75, 50, 75, 75, that kind of scenario. It will be the most aggressive tightening cycle from the Fed since the early 1980s. 
where Paul Volcker was fighting inflation and rampant inflation and wanted to kill it. So when Jay Powell says, you know, you can think of him more like Paul Volcker these days, you know, maybe he really means it. The equity markets are just not priced for this right now, folks. So when it comes to bull and bear picks of the week, you know, what do we tell you to buy on a day like this? Is it buy what you like long term? You, you got to use days like this and, and some to come uh, where you want to accumulate the names you want to own when they're selling off uh, most aggressive. You can see here some of the defensive telco names, Verizon down a little over 5%. Um, not too many places to hide. A stock like Meta Platforms, the old Facebook name, you know, 150, I get interested in it. When it was 300, yours all day. So what do you remain defensive on? Big cap tech still is an area that we, we want to avoid. Uh, there's no evidence of a bottom. And for the most part, a lot of these names still overvalued, but they're getting better. Okay, so sometime in the next number of months, there's going to be some really good buying opportunities in these big cap tech names. We're not there yet. Have a great week, everyone.